right, welcome to Concordia. A crowd poll if I ever saw one. Find a guy named Huckster. He's ex-Hyperion, runs the town. Serious? You're in violation of the verbal space morality statute. You just got a ticket. What the fuck? Oh, you just got another. I love rules. They make me powerful. Follow me or you'll get a third ticket. Welcome, no city son. Obey my commands. Go stand on the contamination pad. Do not move when the beam comes. Phoenix, Ilya Pushka. I'm Nurse Nina. When you need medicine, you come see. Only a serious though. Nurse Nina hate big babies. Unless they're real babies. <laughs> Nurse Nina love them. You hurt. Here, take. Good, you better. When hurt again, can use vending machine to buy heels. You healthy. Go. Sure, the guy you need to find calls himself Marif, like 
mayor mixed with Shara is stupid, whatever. But he might know how to track down the signal. This guy's still pulling down a fat retirement plan from Hyperion from my division. I'm basically his boss. He's pretty much on the team already. Visitors from Helios. Uh, so, here's the thing. Uh, uh, no visitors today. You stupid named son of a bastard! Thank you for visiting the offices of the Merov. We hope you enjoyed your bureaucratic interactions. I guess there is one other person who can help us, unfortunately. Get to the up over bar. Huh? Wish I could. Mox. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, you see those two on the dance floor? The tattooed chick and the guy allergic to smiling? Oh, they're ex-Vault Hunters. Go see if they'll help. <laughs> oh, finally. Lady Luck flips a frickin' face card. Hello again. Hyperion are losing Helios to Dahl. We need to stop the signal that's jamming its systems. Hyperion, Dahl, is there a difference? vacation together yeah sorry but we're out of the vault hunting game too many tentacles what's that mean go talk to moxie damn it looking for me sugar <laughs> maybe i'll pay moxie a visit hello again moxie Jack sent me. Hey, Athena. Haven't seen you since all that business with Knox. Looking good. So, Jack sent you, huh? Must have bothered him something awful. No worries, though. It's all in the past. What does he need? Doll soldiers took down Helios's defenses with a jamming signal. We need to find that signal and shut it down. You want to find a signal? Then you gotta put transmitters on the Echo Towers around town. Get up high. Simple triangulation. They'll find the source, then you can shut it down. Thing is, I don't have any transmitters here, but that's fixable. First, I need you to pick up some moonstones mistakenly confiscated by the Customs Claptrap. Head over there and I'll update your echo. Trust me, it'll make sense. Oi! Can I get a bloody refill? What are you doing? You work here. What? Moxie tells me you're here for her moonstones. I'm pretty sure I store them at the bank. You can pick them up from there. I'm not a big fan of the bank. Still, it serves its purpose. You can use it to stash things you don't feel like carrying around. Oh, that's right. I actually put the moonstones in the stash, not the bank. Uh, you can have the gun. The owner doesn't need it. The stash, huh? That's where you can store items you want to swap between other characters. Not sure why you put the moonstones there. There are people here and a planet in the doesn't ticket himself for stupidity. Pick up the Moonstones and take them to the black market. Show the Moonstones to the guy there and you'll get what you need. I ordered a bunch of transmitters a while back, but I've been kind of avoiding this place. 
That Janie Springs keeps trying to use it as a place to accidentally run into me. I should get a new outfit. What you want? I got these moonstones from Moxie. Says she's got some transmitters for collection. I'll throw them in if you take some of this other trash off my hands. I'm strictly legit. Don't tell anybody. Yeah, Crazy Earl gets that. around. And he's a useful guy to know. Bring him moonstones and he'll get what you need. What you want? <laughs> Love that guy. I'll hit your echo with the cohorts for the towers and manage things from here. From when you get the first transmitter... ...in place, I'll make contact. You need to get above Spring's Emporium O stuff. She's out of town, so she won't be around to help. And so we're clear, tell Jack once this is done, we're all square. Can never be too well armed. Don't get killed. You can always trust the gun at your side. Your cash ain't worth a thing if you don't. Sorry, got you bored. Is that the time? So, listen, I'll send you a waypoint showing how i try that climb. You know, cause I'm nice like that. Hey! But it's not very stable. You mind giving it a whack for me? Yes, it's better. Give me a sec to get everything set up on this end. I, I don't understand it. But she picked them up. Didn't come in person, sent someone. I'm just letting you know because you said to if anybody ever swung by for them. And she didn't mention me at all? Yeah, so, you see what I mean about that girl? The signal, it's not coming from Concordia. Coords for the next tower on your echo. Find a way onto the roofs. working now. Let's get her calibrated. I just gotta mess with some dials back here. Oh, mama. You know why I no come back? I'm safe here. Company no know I'm here. Name is same because they expect me change it. Anyway, mama. Mama, no cry. We no must go. This transmitter, something's not working. Let's try rebooting it. 
There's a tower above the Mariff's office. Try getting up there. Destroy them. like a bullet or two damaged the relay drive gearbox. Sift through those turrets, see if you can find a replacement. Uh, what? Just, it's a thing that makes the transmitter work again. Small black box. That's it? Score! Give me time to just... services? I'm a bloody stressed volcano right now and I can do with the, uh, with the, uh, relief. Oh, gross. I make it very clear to all my patrons, Serena is not for... I'll deal with our Marif later. Okay, everything looks set up. Head up to the control panel I've marked on your Echo. Activate it so I can initiate the final scan to pinpoint the signal's origin. The signal's coming from... Crisis Scar. That's an old doll comms facility. Been nothing but scavs there for years. Well, looks like it's working again. Go shut it down. Uh, also, status updates still getting shot at. So if you wanted to hurry, that'd be cool. Attention, citizens of Concordia. Until further notice, for your own protection, the town is in lockdown. No one in or out. That is all. Okay? Oh, what the hell is wrong with this guy? This is so frustrating! Get back to Moxie. She's got secret exits everywhere. <laughs> Classic. I can better off good luck in a cell. She's not here. Really hard getting served when she's off in a secret workshop, tinkering with advanced tech and all. If I was any more annoyed, I'd probably let it slip that it's accessible by pushing the arm up on the one-armed bandit machine over there, then pressing the access button that pops out. Phew, close one. That new internal dialogue filter chip that I had installed is a ripper, mate. Moxie? Hey, whoa, what are you doing? <clears throat> what are you doing in here? Sorry. Damn it, I really don't like people seeing me out of character. The hell do you want? The Marif locked down the town. Do you know any other ways out of Concordia? I know a way out, but I ain't... <clears throat> won't show it to you unless you promise not to tell anyone what you saw here. Um, I promise? Great, because if you spilled, my son would have to bury you alive in a shallow grave.
That's the way out of here. Hope you find that signal and remember, shallow grave. went for a drive hours ago but hasn't returned. She's still out there, lost in the darkness, perhaps worse. Find my Deirdre, return her to my waiting arms. I'm sending her last known location to your echo device to think of my delicate petal being roughly... front of Concordia. We're Mother Nature's little helpers, and there's a species on the brink of extinction in desperate need of rescue. I'm sending a set of coordinates to your Echo. I'll lay things out properly when you get there. front sources notified us of some indigenous creatures known only as cuties. You know, I never heard of them, but they sound divine, and their natural habitat is being wrecked by horrible corporate sludge. We need to put a stop to the pollution, and time's running out. This used to be a Dahl refinery, before the Krakening. Naturally, this being Elpis, some filthy scavengers have moved in. Show them no mercy. <laughs>
flesh ripping screams of the dying tells me I'm making a real difference. Kill the
scrubbing the latrine intake valves when I looked up and in the distance on a hill, there it was, tall, spindly, sliced in half by shadow and still as the dead, watching me. An alien. I'm not sure what to tell the camp commander. She'll think I'm nuts. And Nurse Nina told me Emily's getting worse. I can't lose this job. Which one? Bye. 
there's more than one button. You'll have to input the correct sequence to shut off the flow. A smart vault hunter like you shouldn't find that too hard. Cuties are free to emerge and frolic with abandon. Navigate that disgusting waste and go save the cuties. What a mess. Someone should really clear that up. Goodness, what on earth are those? I don't like them. Ugh, they're not cute at all. Kill them, will you? Kill them all! Bring it! front of Concordia. Nature triumphs once more. And if I've learned anything, it's that nature always wins. Come back and I'll pay you for your valuable work.
We both hit the karma jackpot out there. Excuse me, the Concordia people's... Membership numbers are too low, so Gabby designed some posters. Would you mind picking them up? They're at our secret base, and if you have a fire weapon, it'll come in handy. Tell your three. Marcus Munitions.
said we should put up the posters in the middle of town so people could see them, but then they'd just get torn down, and we paid to have these ones laminated in case it rained. Thinking about it, Gabby had a lot of bad ideas.
like her car. Please search it with all the alacrity you can muster. Myron, my love. I'm trapped in the wreckage of our car and surrounded by evil bandits. If you get this message, forget me. Live free. Goodbye. How awful. I espy nobody. Perhaps Deirdre yet draws breath and was merely taken to the bandit settlement nearby. I'll mark the location on your echo. Please, Vault Hunter, find my sweet love, be she beneath the stars or within the heavens. came back for the AT kits. The colors are really coming through well. I adore the contrast, but the font's not the one I ordered. It looks more like it says Oz Kit. <laughs> well, that's up to you. If it was my money, I'd get the whole lot redone. It ruins it. <laughs> yes, they still work. Hello? Hello? What's the big idea killing my men? And is that my echo message? Myron sent you, didn't he? He seems kind of sweet, but the guy's scary crazy. I mean, I wake in the night and he's staring at me. I go see friends and he follows me. When he wanted our anniversary to be a suicide pact, I knew I had to escape. So I cooked up my dramatic death. Killing Myron sounds like the most efficient course of action. Nah. Myron's got a huge family, they'd come after me. I've got a plan, Vault Hunter. It's nutty, but should convince Myron I'm one totally dead wife. Will you help? Sure. Sounds like a worthwhile mission. If Myron's going to leave me alone, he has to think I'm dead. So we're going to kill me. Well, my evil twin, Maureen. Myron doesn't know about her, and she's as loco as he is. Maureen's an escaped con hiding out nearby. Find her, kill her, then show her body to Myron. Simple, huh? Are you still here? Get going! Seriously, my death won't stage itself, you know. Off you pop.
to later years. Puberty. The teenage years. A difficult time for anyone, perhaps more difficult for you, yes? A coming from a violent childhood, a broken home, possessing little intelligence. Tell me, how did you get on with your peers? Take me inside your mind. When I was a teenager, I was good at fights. Psycho birds with one stone. We just cleaned up the universe a bit, Vault Hunter. Come on back for your reward. Thanks for killing my psycho sister. I can sleep far easier knowing her and Myra aren't around anymore. Anywhere else? I made sure of that.
as one of the foremost mercenaries in the galaxy. But you had humble beginnings, did you not? A life no different from any other. What spurred you down your path of ultraviolence? What confluence of events, what changing winds of circumstance and privilege led you to sit right here in front of me, dictating your autobiography? As a kid, I was good at fights. I need to get inside. Then prove yourself worthy of joining Red Belly's band of scavs! Excellent! Get going, wannabe gang member! I shall brief you on the way! We are in a bloody war with the rival gang who call themselves the Darksiders. Cut a bloody swath through their ranks and steal the silly prison things carried around by their toughest warriors. Then, if you live, return to me here, where I am standing. Those dark siders love overcharging your jump pads for some extra boost. Shoot the little box on the side of the jump pad, and you'll get some extra zip. Let me feed you, my bullets! 
They called it that. What's wrong with this gate? Ah, the, the thing is, is I was fiddling with the controls and got something stuck in them, so the door's not working right now. But you can still get through the side door. Just give them the password. R. I so wait here. A noble yet dangerous robot, alone, mysterious, desperate to be loved.
Crisis scar that signal originates and shut her down. <clears throat> One day I'll take it. So, my best mate in the whole wide world's gone missing. And I could really use some help finding him. I think it was a him. Unless it was a her. No, no, it was definitely a him. Can't remember her name though. Used to call her the Jolly Swag Man. He was always such a happy bloke. Always had a smile and a song for everyone. Terrible singer he was. Ah, my ears would bleed. She was always going walk about across the moon and usually came back raving about some crazy thing or other. Can't tell you where he was last seen. If you could find her, he owes me a drink.
Looks like he's sleeping. Do you think he's sleeping? His sleep is not with the living. Right. Well, see if he left today. Check her pockets, will ya? Okay, maybe that'll tell us more about the sorry tale. What do you reckon? Oh, the things I've seen. I've gone walkabout all the way to Virago Solitude. I've seen an enormous giant billabong. A giant empty billabong with bright purple light shooting out of it. And I heard the deafening silent prayers of an ancient people ringing out from the depths of it. I can't buy it. And I sang as I watched as my billy boiled. Then up leapt the jumper. I grabbed him with glee and I shoved him in my tucker bag. But then I returned from the distant land and I went and I lost a camp not far from here. Blast and dragons attack me. Go find it, Peapot. Then you'll know I speak the truth. Check your echo. I'm plum tuckered out. Reckon I might die now. Uh, not so jolly now, is he? Sounds like you got Moonstroke, poor bugger. He didn't know what he was saying, just wandering around for days, losing his mind. I never heard of an empty billabong, and I definitely never heard of no jumbuck. A sad way for him to go. Still owing me a drink. I expect she'll get over it. Wonder where that tucker bag is. Then, have a look around. See if you can find it. Jumbuck! Poor raving lunatic! He never should have gone as far as Virago Solitude. No one ever comes back from there without being a few slices shorter of a life. I'd never bloody go. There it is! It's the tucker bag! Shoot! Shoot! Kill the dragons! Defend and protect! in all the world sent it to me. It's a tucker bag. Says there's a jumbuck inside. <laughs> they don't even exist. Oh, oh it, it's a jumbuck. They do exist. I think it thinks I'm his mum. It's an idiot. I look nothing like him. Do you think that means there's really a billabong somewhere out there too? 
A giant empty billabong with bright purple lights shooting out of it with the deafening silent prayers of an ancient people ringing out from the depths of it? <laughs> Thanks for the help, though. Unless there is a giant purple hole with light shooting out of it. You reckon an old fella wants to drink? Going the wrong way. What the Back sir. Squish.
mama.
pleasure as always. Caviar Emptor, don't know you can always trust the god at your side. I just ate, but let's boogie! Quality loot. Oh, great! Busted. Head up to the roof. There should be a maintenance console there. Activate it. That'll shut down the freaking signal. Come <laughs> on. 
We got fast travel. Red? Really? What the flaming heck's going on over there? The override signal just went down. Who the hell is that? Sounds like the Merith. Wait a minute, you... Uh, red or belly? Oh, flip! The mayor has been working for Zarpet on the entire... Time! Gah! I'll meet you in Concordia. Need to have a talk with this guy. I'm not torturing anyone for you, Jack. Calm down, we're not gonna hurt him till we find out what the deal is. above us is no cause for alarm. The laser striking the moon's surface is merely speculating for deposits. For your own safety, Concordia will remain locked down for the next several weeks. When I need that you, is all. Call. Screw this. Let's go pay him a visit. Like I said, don't get trigger happy. If he's got info, I don't want to hear him gurgle it through blood. He has horrible diction to start with. The Marif's elevator is sealed, remember? That's just great. 
I do have a recording of the Marif talking sexy to Serena, the custom bot's favorite squeeze. Nah, that wouldn't work. Could we use that recording of the Marif talking to the Geisha bot? Maybe blackmail our way in? Yahtzee! Let's go find ourselves one soon-to-be outraged customs claptrap. Get that recording ready, Mox. Come back here! I am the law! The law doesn't make mistakes! Hey! Lawbot! You've just interrupted an officer carrying out his duty! Uh, we're here to file a complaint. Your awesome Marif's been breaking the law. We have evidence. Breaking the law? Why don't you tell me all about it? For your concern, citizen, rest assured it shall be logged. Long live the Marif. Mox, hit it. Oh, blimey, you really know how to listen to a bloke's problems. I'll give you that. You sure I can't book you for more, uh, uh physical services? I'm a bloody stress volcano right now, and I can do with the, uh, with the, uh, relief. You know that's not what Geisha bots are programmed for. Serena. Really? I'm your Merit. You'd be doing Concordia Republic service. I'd make it worth your while. I'm swimming in dial money right now. <laughs> the Merit's interfacing with my Serena? No! I feel so betrayed! And according to my records, the Merit doesn't have the appropriate paperwork to engage in such activities, which kind of makes my outrage morally justifiable! Awesome! Hey, I'm with you, pal. Word is, he's got another appointment booked with Serena right now. What? Citizens, that was not. That may have sounded like my voice, but I, 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 I've been impersonated by someone who sounds like me. I, I, I appreciate you allowing me privacy at this difficult time. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. This man has no shred of honor. This guy's so busted! Without an inter-organic fraternization license, I'm gonna make his life a living hell! Come on, elevator, let's go! Serena, I'm coming, my love! This is more like it. And here we go! To the barrel! Seriously? You idiot machine? The offices are off! <laughs> right! I'm such a kidder! Up we go! Warning, trespassing on government property will result in your immediate death. Thank you. These aren't gonna stop us, Huckster! Uh, look, no tools today, sorry. Please That's exit through the gift shop. Right. The tool. Shield, energize! Oh, 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 oh
sir, get that door open! I don't take orders from civilians. However, as I was already going to do that... We can talk this out, Jackie. I don't really work for Zablin. Hunter T. Meredith, you are hereby under arrest for violating Elpis Ethical Code 3110, forbidding unlicensed interplay between... Oh my god! You stole my girlfriend, you need that? Open this door! Talk about your win-win, that's awesome. Let's move it! Jack, Jackie! Ha <laughs> you should have said you were a daddy. Should have said so. I traced the signal that took down our systems on Helios. And guess what? It came from here. Your office. Signal? Signal. She might be doing. It. Where did she come from? And please, lie to me. I really want you to lie to me. I don't know. What are you gonna do with me? <laughs> Nothing. I was just messing with you. Get the hell out of here. I've been thinking. There's a way back to Helios. I surrender. Oh. I was gonna let you live, dumb bastard! What is wrong with you? Oh, that was invigorating. Okay, yeah, where was I? All right, my awesome master plan. Taking the fight to Helios is gonna need an army, so we make one. Head down to Springs, I'll explain on the way. I'm gonna stay here, gonna go through the Marif stuff. We're making a freaking robot army, baby! Hell yeah! Shopping list is simple. Some serious combat chassis and top-of-the-line military AI to run them. Word is, Springs is a lady for the AI. Hey, Mox, you know where I can build me some kick-ass robot bodies? Since that giant laser's gonna kill, well, everyone, I know who might be willing to scout around for hardware. Let me talk to them and get back to you. Sounds good! Let's hustle, people! We got a moon to save. What did you think of Jack when you first met him, Will? Considering he was the guy Moxie left you for, I didn't like him. You don't like anybody. I like Brick. Booyah! That laser just keeps on coming. Moxie said you're after some military AI. Big saws. 